This is Carmen with WP for Treaties. In this video, we're going to look at how to install and use the plugin called Tiny MCE Advanced. I use this plugin to give me more editing op options when I'm adding or editing content on my WordPress site. This is a plugin that we will install. After we install and activate this plugin, We'll see the options to set the settings for this plugin underneath the settings option on the dashboard menu. And I go with the default settings that come with this, this plugin. It's going to enable this editing menu. So it's going to give me all these different icons and options at the top of my editing content area when I'm editing or adding con content via the pages or the post. If there's other ones I want to add, other options, I can simply click and drag it up into this area. I tend to go with the default settings, but you can customize that as you see fit. Before I go to a page, I want to show you the, the icons that are available by default with just a WordPress install without adding this or any other plugin. This is the default editing options we have above our content area when we're adding or editing pages or posts. I'm going to go ahead and save these changes and go back to my editing page. I'm going to do a refresh and I'm going to see the difference between these, this list of icons versus what Tiny MCE Advanced plugin gives us. I just have a lot more options here, as well as I have this entire menu that I can choose standard word processing functions readily available to me via this menu. The ones that probably uses most the most is this format option. When I want to add headings or emphasize text, I'll use these options up here to do so. But that's how you install and set up and use the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin for WordPress.